seen this event on the rooftop of the old post office. Have you been there? Oh, yeah, beautiful. If not one person, 10 people came up to me. What's going on with the wedding? <laughs> Is Sarah Gingra going to be over with the helicopter <laughs> during the wedding? Do they still think I... we're getting married, Lou? No, well, nobody thought we were getting married okay, now. Good. They do want to know if they said, had I gotten my invitation, which I said, no, I haven't yet. But, no. but that's not the part of the conversation. But I think that there's an opportunity here, Robin, that perhaps you make this like a big affair. And the sales department can get it all sponsored. Hmm. Limos, a big venue on the side. She's leaving. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about all that rain. Last Sunday was uh, the Misericordia Family Fest that I said, Robin, you should join me. This is the video that I sent out uh, to Robin in the morning of the uh, of the event and said, you made a good choice not joining me. They're going to roll that video right now. That was the rain on Sunday morning. Crazy. But that's also the rain that ended up in everybody's basement. And a lot of this can be due to your downspouts. So downspouts and grounds. If you've got uh, a downspout that just dumps like this one right on the outside of the home, put an extension on it. Go to the hardware store, find the proper size pipe that can go on the end of that. Two feet, three feet, just stick it on the end so now the water is pulled away from the home. Those short little cutoffs on the downspout can be causing water to come into your basement. That is an easy thing that anybody can do. There are even these longer black plastic extensions, almost like an elephant's trunk that you can connect on there and stretch out. They go eight feet. So if you want to go around things to put the water away, that's good too. A lot of homes in Chicago have basement stairs outside and that drain down there is full of debris and we forget about it all the time. That fills up with water, comes into the door. Just take a broom down there and um, a shovel or a dustpan and clean all that up and make sure that that drain is clear. And that's something really you got to check almost once a week, especially as we're getting into fall and the leaves start to, uh, you know, come off the trees. That's going to be an issue. Then also look around the perimeter of your home. A lot of times we add mulch to the house, you know, in the spring and landscapers or you do it, it gets higher and higher and higher. And if the mulch level is above the foundation line on this home, it's brick. And you'll see coming up, the black portion right there is the foundation and the brick is right on top. So you see how it's below that level, that's good. If you see that the mulch is up against the brick, then when it rains and it fills up and we get the deluge of water that we've gotten uh, this past couple of weeks, then it's gonna fill up, end up in your basement. This is simple stuff that really doesn't cost a lot of money that uh, can make a huge difference so that you don't get water in your basement again. There's a whole other bunch of reasons, things like, you know, failing sump pumps and all that kind of stuff. But this is simple uh, advice that you can do right now, thinking, oh, this weekend, I'm going to go do that and make sure my downspots are in good shape so I don't have to fear at least that portion of getting water in the basement. Thanks, Lou. You can listen to Lou's House Parts Radio Show on <laughs> WGN Saturday morning, 6 to 10. Have a great weekend. See you, you too.